Exley Wickle is highly representative of what we call today the greatest generation. Exley Wickle was born in Clinton, Ohio on August 14, 1913. The town of Clinton was regarded at the time as being a middle class neighborhood known for its sandstone architecture and its canal systems, which would be responsible for the second largest flood in Ohio history, shown here, in 1913, the year Wickle was born. After experiencing a relatively modest upbringing with a homemaker mother and a farming father, Wickle set off for Miami University in 1933 to major in education. Here we see Wickle as a member of the freshman basketball team. Wickle was very involved with extracurriculars during his time in Miami and would ultimately go on to earn five varsity letters between track and field in basketball. Wickle was also a member of the Delta Tau Delta fraternity, whose house can be seen here, as well as the Kappa Delta Pi National Honor Society. After graduating from Miami in 1937, Wickle briefly worked on his family's farm as an unpaid laborer until enlisting in the Army Air Corps in 1942. It was here that he served as a flight instructor, flying training planes similar to this one, and prepared young airmen for future combat endeavors. He would continue his Air Force career after the war, rising to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel and Chief Comptroller of the 302nd Tactical Airlift Wing at the Lockbourne Air Force Base in Columbus, Ohio. While maintaining his role as Comptroller at the Air Force Base, Wickle was also able to get his Master's in Vocational Education from the University of Cincinnati in 1948. It was at the University of Cincinnati that Wickle was able to discover his passion for vocational education, and from here he embarked on his professional teaching career, which took him to Wilmington High School in Wilmington, Ohio. Here he organized trade and industry co-op programs and ran them for seven years. Wickle was also an active member of professional educational associations, where he served as president of District 8 Vocational Association and state president of the Ohio State Vocational Association. He was regarded as a visionary and a pioneer in his field and developed Ohio's first ever mobile home vocational program as well as its first ever meat processing vocational program. After retiring from teaching in 1977, Wickle explored new interests and immersed himself in philanthropic activities to give back to the community of Wilmington. He served as president in roles for the Senior Chamber of Commerce and the Lions Club, and served as chairman for the Community Chess Drive. Additionally, he served as a member of the Board of Directors of the Chamber of Commerce and served three terms as a member of the Wilmington City Council. In retirement, Wickle was also able to pursue new professional interests. His first entrepreneurial ventures included a rug cleaning business and a general contracting service before shifting his focus to the real estate business he started in 1992, which still continues to this day. Exley Wickle passed away on November 26, 2000 at the age of 87. He would be remembered as being a jack of all trades for his commitment to his country, his passion for vocational education, and his deep-rooted philanthropic contributions to the community of Wilmington, Ohio.